But you were saying that this kind of evidence uh, is in the open literature now. Yes, yes. Why, why is it not making an impact? Well, I, I've been asked that when I've spoken in university geology departments. I'll get asked the question, well, if this is in the textbooks, why aren't we taught it? And the answer is, is because there is a commitment to the millions of years. And so once people get locked into that focus, anything outside their field of view that conflicts with that focus uh, is, is marginalised. And the reason why the millions of years are important, it, if we go back in the history of, of scientific thought, Charles Lyell in England proposed millions of years and they multiplied the ages for the rocks. And that was the foundation on which Charles Darwin built. Mm. In fact, he read Charles Lyell's book and was convinced of the millions of years of geological evolution. So he could say, now, given enough time, what we don't see happening in the present. We might only see small changes in the present. Given millions of years, the small changes can add up to big changes. And so if you want to have a, a, a worldview or a way of looking at the his, of history that uh, says that we got here by chance, random processes over millions of years, then you've got to have rocks that are millions of years old. Otherwise, you've undermined that whole, that whole foundation of that view of Earth history. So time becomes a the critical, if not the critical element, a yes. critical element for yes. the conventional paradigm. Exactly. And that time has to be deep time. Yeah, and, and this was actually, it was a Scientific American article, a professor of biology at Harvard University in the mid-50s, when he was talking about the origin of life, he said, he's in fact said, time is the hero of the plot. You know, given enough time, what we think is impossible to happen now, given enough time, the impossible becomes possible and the possible becomes yeah. probable. And here we are. Yeah. And so that's the nature of what we're yeah. talking about. So deep time almost becomes a magic wand here. Yes. That with, without that, Correct. then there is the stark reality that's right. that we're dealing with something that's right. other you wave than... It, wave it over the rocks, you wave it over the fossils, and you start to imagine that what couldn't happen in the present could happen over millions yeah. of years. 